This last part of the exercise is optional. We'll copy the effects to the following shot and adjust them for the second gladiator. Navigate to the following shot and select the clip number 9 on the timeline. Press Alt-B to cut the segment to the selection. Now select the top segment. In the Source folder, click on the Baltimore logo. Press Replace to replace the element in the timeline. Now we'll copy the axis effect. Expand the track to see the clip information. Make sure the focus point is on the top layer. Hold down Ctrl to be in copy mode and drag the axis icon from the Detroit logo to the Baltimore logo segment on the timeline. The axis effect is copied. Change Shadow back to Surface in the axis controls. To add the mat for the second logo, click on Mat and choose the image Baltimore logo alpha in the Edit Desk folders. This applies the mat to the logo. Now we'll copy the text effect. Expand the bottom track. Hold Ctrl and drag the text icon from the first shot to the next. Select the shot number 9 on the bottom layer. Press the E button to access the text editor. Click on the text layer and change the name of the gladiator as displayed. When this is done, exit the text module. We want the text and the logo to be on the left side of the image. Select the logo segment on the top layer. Select the axis button to display the axis controls. Click and drag the position X field to reposition the logo to the left side of the image. Select the shot on the bottom layer, but keep the focus point on the top layer to see all of the layers below in context. Click on the text button to display the text controls. Drag the position X field to reposition the text to the left side of the image. Then you can select the top segments and process them for playback. As usual, don't forget to save your timeline to the library.